My daughter Kuri has DRPLA, a disease that causes the brain to atrophy. It is hereditary, progressive, and there is no cure. Kuri is bedridden. My husband Chiaki passed away from this disease four years ago. I wanted to find a cure for DRPLA, so I wrote Ohana family ten years ago. I hope that I can save my daughter. Chapter 1 Two Behaviors Little by little, we are getting used to Hawaii. I had got a job as a reporter at a local newspaper, and our life was settling down, but the troubles were peeling up. It had become very difficult to rise Kuri. It may sound strange, but I think Kuri was a very good, honest, and easy child to take care of. But what can I say? I had a feeling that the difficulty of raising her was different from other children. Now that I think about it, that is what I mean by DRPLA personality changes and cognitive delays. But at the time, I didn't know that. Just a sense that something was wrong. For example, a normal person would make up in the morning, do one of those morning stretches, and then get up and say, Good morning. For the first few minutes after waking up, they may not even be alert. Kuri, however, was different. I had the feeling that her consciousness continues as it was when she was sleeping and when she woke up. The mommy, I want to do this, and I want to do that, would continue every 10 seconds for the rest of the day. She kept talking all the time, and her request kept coming. For example, even when I told her, now it's time to go back home, we will do something later, she would say, yes. But mommy, I don't want to go back home. I want to do now. The way she said it made me feel that she was not coming from selfishness, but rather that she could not stop her brain from telling her what to do. And she can't stop her demand. She always wanted to go somewhere on a holiday from morning to night. We go to the Honoruzu, walk the street of Waikiki, and when we get back to Kahara, she doesn't want to go home. She walks around the Kahara Mall, and she feels bad if she doesn't go to all the stores she wants to go to. She can't stop halfway. In the end, Chiaki yells at her, and she cries. It gets a little quieter, but after another 15 minutes, she starts, I want to go there. I want to do that again. What is this? Is it ADHD? But at school and at the YMCA, Kuri is said to have very good social skills. Why does she only change her personality so much at home? Does she have two behaviors and a hyper energy child? I don't know what to do. There was a Thai girl who was Kuri's classmate named Son in our neighborhood, and they always played together. When I was struggling, Sasra Son's mom said, Kuri is a very nice girl. When they were both in the first grade and Son cried every morning and couldn't get into class, Kuri is comfort her. I think that's why Son is now able to get used to school and enjoy going there. Don't worry. Kuri will grow up 
to be a good girl. She comforted me. Her happy those words made me. Little by little, Kuri made friends, and I made friends with Sasra and Korean mothers. And sometimes we got together with mothers and ate food from different countries. Most of my friends have moved to the mainland now, but I have really good memories of them. Thank you.